Hey guys, this is Sarah with Pinocchio Chrysler and today I'm going to be taking you on a walk around on a pre-owned 2014 Dodge Journey SE in a blue paint coat. Under that hood it has a 2.4 liter engine with your 4 speed automatic transmission and it is front wheel drive. As we're heading down the front you do have your daytime running lights, a beautiful front bumper there with a honeycomb grille and some chrome detailing. As we're heading around the side you are going to be riding on a set of 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels with a set of general grubber HDS tires with plenty of tread on them. They're in excellent condition and you do have your disc brakes on all fours. And then as we head up the side here you do have your mirrors that do fold in or break away there. All right, so I'm just gonna grab the keys, we'll head on inside and we'll keep looking around. Helping us into this 2014 journey, we do have our keyless entry and our panic button. I won't demonstrate that for you today. You also have our proximity keyless entry. So instead of hitting the unlock button on the fob, you walk up to the vehicle, stick your hand inside and it does unlock. Okay, so heading in on the driver's side now, you do have your power locks, windows and mirrors and some great styling. You also have compartments for storage in the door. As we have a look here at the driver's seat, you do have a beautiful cloth interior with great styling there. And you have cloth interior throughout with seating for five. I'm just gonna hop inside and keep looking around. Okay, so it is a push button start since you do have the proximity key. So you just put your foot on the brake and push that in and it will start up for you. That way. And then you can just kind of set your keys wherever or have it in your purse. Okay, so looking at the steering wheel here, you do have a nice Dodge emblem there. You have your menu option arrows here, so you can go through everything up in the odometer area. There's 157,843 kilometers on it. So you talk to our financing and they can let you know if there's any warranty remaining or anything that can be added. You also have your outside temperature, so 18 degrees, beautiful day. Coming back to the steering wheel here, you do have all of your cruise control settings. And if you wrap your hands around the steering wheel, there is audio controls where you can adjust the volume of the music. And then on this side, you do also have your tuner, so you can change the radio station. Okay, and heading into the center now here, you do have an LCD touchscreen display here. You can change everything up in the radio. You also have your player there where you can insert a disc down in here, play it through there, or you can attach your iPod or your phone and play music. You have your climate controls in here where you can adjust everything there. It is dual split, so you can adjust it separately from your passenger. Sorry, I'm I'm moving my phone a lot. There are settings in here where you can go through everything. There's more in there and then just your screen off button if you aren't wanting your screen on. You just touch it to turn it back on. Okay so as we head down here you do have your hazards, your AC, your all of your climate controls here, your traction control there and it is the dual split here as well and your tuner and your volume. Again that CD disc drive there and as we keep going down you have a nice big compartment for storage down in here with a 12 volt plug in there. You have two drink holders in the middle there, and then as we come to that center console here, opens up and there is lots of space in there for storage. Alright, so that is the front of our 2014 Dodge Journey. We'll head into the back and we'll keep looking around. Okay, so heading in in the back. Now again, you do have your power window options here, a compartment for storage in the door there. And then as we have a look here on the floor in the back seat, there is compartments in the floor for storage so that's pretty awesome you have map holder on the back of the seat here and you have a 12 volt plug down in here having a look at the seats now again you do have that cloth interior in the back with seating for three and this middle seat does fold down here acting as drink holders or an armrest and then you do also have the 60 40 split seats where they do fold down leading into the back cargo area and they lay nice and flat for you great to have if you're not needing passengers in the back and you're just needing that extra space. So as we head around the back now you do have your back lift gate there you can open that up and there is tons of cargo room in here. It's also great in the back here you can pop this up and you have lots of storage underneath there as well. There is also a 12 volt plug back here. Close that back up. Mind the wind. It's pretty windy today head in on this side. Again, you have that beautiful seat. I love the seats in here. And if you have a look at this side, again, you have that nice compartment for storage. Really handy. This seat also folds down for you, leading into that back cargo area. So you can have lots of room back there if needed. Okay, and then we'll head in on the passenger side. So coming in on the passenger side, again, that nice cloth seat there. You have a lockable glove box up here a compartment for storage down in there and again your power locks windows and a compartment for storage on the door 
All right, so if you guys have any more questions about this or you want to take it on a test drive, you can head on down to Pinoca Chrysler. We have an excellent sales team and a great finance team waiting to help you out. We are located just on the south end of Pinoca, just off of Highway 2A. Have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks for watching.